national icon and uh, legendary uh, uh, Ratan Tata, the industrialist uh, who died at the age of 86 in a Mumbai hospital, will be cremated with full state owners. The state government has declared a day of mourning uh, today to honor the late industrialist. And let's just listen in to Piyush Goel, who is uh, speaking on the legend. Uh, Ratan Tata's body has been kept at the National Center for Performing Arts in Mumbai's Nariman Point till 4 o'clock this evening. Uh, people can pay their last respects. The cremation will take place at Worli later in the day, where Home Minister Amit Shah will be pressed. एक्सपेंशन भी हो रही है अब वहाँ पे मेडिकल कॉलेज बनने जा रहा है और एक ऐसा अस्पताल जिसके लोग कभी रतन टाटा जी को जानते नहीं थे कुछ नहीं थे लेकिन उनकी सेवा भावी चरित्र को देखकर रतन जी ने रत्ती भर भी सोचा नहीं सीधा पैसा दे दी मुझे याद है जब कोविड की महामारी ने देश को इतने तकलीफ में डाला तब हमारी एक बातचीत चल रही थी कैसे भारत के उद्योग जगत के लोग मदद कर सकते हैं तो रतन टाटा जी ने एक मिनट झिझक नहीं की सीधा कहा कि टाटा ग्रुप 1500 करोड़ रुपए कोविड की लड़ाई के लिए सरकार के साथ जुड़ के खर्चा करेगा बिना कुछ वापस सामने किसी प्रकार का कोई कंडीशन रखे 1500 करोड़ रुपए उन्होंने कमिट कर दिए कोविड की लड़ाई के लिए जिसमें से 500 करोड़ रुपए उन्होंने सीधा एक दिन के अंदर चेक भेज दिया पीएम केयर्स में जिससे कोविड की लड़ाई में भी आ, हमारे हाथ मजबूत हुए मैं समझता हूं एक ऐसा व्यक्तित्व है जिन्होंने जीवन भर व्यापार और उद्योग को तो बहुत नई ऊंचाइयों तक लेके गए ही ईमानदार व्यवस्थाओं से भी कैसे उद्योग बड़ा बन सकता है अंतरराष्ट्रीय पटल पर जा सकता है उसका एक जीवंत उदाहरण टाटा ग्रुप के रूप में बनाया लेकिन साथ ही साथ उनका जो निहित चरित्र था एक सेवा भावी एक बहुत ही सरल व्यक्तित्व था उसको कभी बदला we have my colleague uh, Radhika joining us from right outside the residence of uh, Ratan Tata. Uh, Radhika, uh, take us through, uh, you know, what is expected today. Of course, uh, many people are gathering there to pay their last respects uh, to uh, the legend Ratan Tata. Uh, you know, when we talk about, uh, you know, everyone is mentioning the compassion with which he worked, the extraordinary human being that he is. That's how the Prime Minister has described the visionary business leader, uh, you know, for providing a stable leadership to one of India's oldest and most prestigious business houses. Uh, what time is the uh, cremation, the funeral of uh, Ratan Tata expected? Right, Divya. In fact, Ratan Tata's final journey has begun. In fact, I am at the NCPA lawns where his mortal remains are kept. I'm not at the residence. I was at the residence where his mortal remains were kept after his, uh, uh, you know, mortal remains were transported from hospital to the residence. He was there for a few hours. Uh, a lot of visitors there as well. Now, of course, uh, it has been kept in NCPA lawns where I'm standing. As you can see, thousands have gathered here uh, to pay their last tributes to the man, to the visionary, to the man who's known as an extraordinary human being. Of course, thousands are gathered here uh, to pay their last tributes, to pay their homage to Ratan Tata. This includes not just industrialists or people from political circles or uh, from, uh, you know, entertainment industry, but public at large gathering here to pay their uh, tributes. Uh, we just saw Sharad Pawar and Supriya Sule some time back. Earlier in the day, Sachin Tendulkar also paid uh, tributes to Ratan Tata. Uh, yesterday, Chief Minister of Maharashtra as well as Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra were at the hospital uh, soon after the passing away of uh, uh, Ratan Tata. I mean, this shows uh, the influence and this shows how he inspired millions of people across the country and the world. Of course, he's not just known as a uh, corporate honcho or a business leader, but also known as an extraordinary human being as somebody who always contributed to the society, all, always gave back to the society, uh, which is what is being seen here. This is something that's visible, uh, you know, during the final journey. The number of people who've come here, the number of people who are inspired by his life and times who've come here uh, to pay their last tributes, last, uh, uh, you know, uh, to... You know,
man he was, the industrialist he was. Uh, after this, of course, after the public viewing, after, uh, his uh, mortal remains will be taken uh, to Worley Crematorium where uh, the last rites will be conducted as per Parsi traditions and customs. Of course, his family members also present, uh, people from the Tata group, from across industries present here as well. And, uh, you know, as the hours pass by, we will see more, uh, you know, VIP entry, uh, you know, more people from the political circle as well as uh, from a cross-section of people from uh, all sectors making a V-line uh, to pay their last tributes uh, to the industrialists, to visionary Ratan Tata. Right, uh, of course, uh, you know, when we uh, speak of Ratan Tata and uh, his humility, his kindness, his unwavering commitment to making uh, the society better and, you know, to giving back to society, it's uh, Gautam Adani also who said uh, that India has lost a giant, a visionary who redefined a modern India's path. He's also gone on to say that he was, uh, wasn't just a business leader, but he embroiled the spirit of India with integrity, compassion and an unwearing commitment to a greater good and legends like him never fade away. We also have with us uh, Sajit uh, uh, joining us uh, from uh, right uh, there uh, also. Uh, Sajit, you know, when we talk about the legacy of uh, Ratan Tata, uh, you know, from the fields and the lives that he's touched, uh, you know, take us through his legacy uh, in regard uh, to the man who has died at the age of 86 but will live on forever in everyone's hearts. That's right, uh, Divya, you know, uh, Ratan Tata, you know, was a, uh, one of the biggest business icons for our, our country. Uh, he took charge of uh, the Tata Group in 1991, uh, spent o almost 22 years before he stepped down as chairman of Tata's Sons. Uh, in that 20, 22 years which he spent at Ratan, uh, with, spent at Tata, at Tata Group, he was uh, instrumental in not only ensuring that domestically the Tata Group companies are uh, stronger, but also you know the vision to take uh, Tata Group global. Uh, it all started with 2000 when the Tata T, uh, now called Tata Consumer, went and went ahead and acquired Tetley, and then it was followed up by the big uh, acquisition of nearly 12 billion uh, dollars of uh, chorus in UK and followed by uh, the JLR or Jaguar Land Rover acquisition in 2008. Uh, and thereafter there have been many acquisitions which has been done uh, by many of the Tata Group companies. Uh, uh, it was after 2000 that this animal spirit was uh, put into place into the Tata Group, making it more aggressive, uh, going outbound, uh, growing, getting into diversified fields. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, ensuring that at, that at the same time, ensuring that that these companies are profitable, but not only really profitable, but the profits are channelized into philanthropic activities. Uh, remember, the, all the Tata Group companies are held by Tata Sons, which is controlled 66 percent uh, by various trusts uh, under Sir Ratanji uh, Tata uh, Tata uh, Trust and uh, Sir Dorabji Tata Trust, and this trust is basically into philanthropic activity, which is into education. Education, sanitation, healthcare, uh, you know. You speak of the activities uh, or, or the spheres where a society needs help and the Tata Group is there in contributing uh, to the upliftment of people uh, and talent in all, all these uh, areas. And that's what the legacy of Ratan Tata is going to be because uh, the philosophy of the Tata Group combine capitalism along with philanthropy and ensure that it gives back to the society. Uh, that's something is going to be the big legacy of Ratan Tata. So we also have uh, Radhika with us. Uh, Radhika, of course, uh, you know, Sanjeet there highlighting how Tata T was acquired, uh, uh, you know, uh, went on to acquire Tetley and Tata Motors uh, went ahead and acquired Jaguar Land Rover. Take us through, you know, the contribution of Ratan Tata to the city of Mumbai and the country. That's right, you know, uh, 
multiple expansions, diversification is something that uh, we saw as uh, soon as Ratan Tata became the chairman of uh, Tata Group. He became the chairman in 91 and it was a two-decade journey as far as his chairmanship is concerned. And then uh, following that, uh, he was a temporary chairman for some time. Uh, you know, post the whole Cyrus mystery fiasco. You know, as far as his contributions are concerned, yes, multiple acquisitions, uh, like you said, the Jaguar Land Rover ex acquisition, Coral acquisition, uh, co uh, and also a Tata Tetley acquisition. So all these global acquisitions are something that uh, uh, Ratan Tata, uh, you know, sort of uh, made reality, ma made, made these uh, acquisitions a reality as far as Indian industries are concerned. And apart from that, uh, the globalization or rather the global expansion of Tata Consultancy Services under his leadership is something that gets spoken about. Uh, uh, and uh, besides that, for the common man, for the public at large, the launch of Tata Nano. What Amit Shah has to say. दुनिया भर के लोकतंत्र के अंदर एक प्रकार से विश्वास की क्राइसिस दिखाई पड़ती है सातत्यपूर्ण नेतृत्व लोकतंत्र के अंदर पूरी दुनिया को आप बारीकी से देखें तो बहुत कम जगह पर दिखाई पड़ता है और मोदी जी पहले सीएम और फिर पीएम 23 साल तक लोकतांत्रिक तरीके से जनता का विश्वास जीतकर फिर से एक बार प्रधानमंत्री बने ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण बात क्योंकि स्थिरता के बगैर नीतियां Amit Shah to attend Ratan Tata's last rites on behalf of uh, the government as the Prime Minister is uh, not in uh, the country and uh, which is why it will be Amit Shah representing uh, the government at the uh, funeral of Ratan Tata who's died at the age of 86. Uh, let's go back to Radhika. Radhika, you were highlighting for us, uh, you know, the contribution uh, of uh, uh, the great man, Ratan Tata. I mean, people talk about his generosity, uh, whether it was during COVID times, but particularly at the time of 2611. Yes, absolutely. At the time of 2611, he showed extreme resilience, of course. Sir. Uh, Taj Hotel uh, getting impacted as a result of which, but he uh, was instrumental in making sure that people are resilient, people who work with him, uh, you know, uh, give it back and uh, sort of revamp the hospitality sector uh, in, uh, and specifically as far as the revamp of uh, uh, the hotel uh, Taj is concerned. So yes, he showed a lot of resilience and confidence post uh, the tragedy of uh, 2611. Uh, besides that, as I was pointing out, Tata and Nano was a dream come true for millions of Indians, something that uh, was unheard of at the time. Uh, a card for uh, the middle class or lower middle class. It was an aspirational uh, uh, commodity, a car at the time, but he made that dream come true. Adhyan kar kar, Tata Samu ke sare udyogo ko aur kaam karne ki paddhati ko dono ko unho ne parivartit kiya और पहले की तरह आज भी टाटा समूह भारत के उद्योग जगत में एक ध्रुव तारा बनकर है उसमें रतन टाटा जी का बहुत बड़ा योगदान है देश के अंदर सूचिता के साथ अपने उद्योग का अपने समूह का विकास करना देश के सारे कायदे कानून और रूल्स रेगुलेशन इसका पूर्णतः पालन करते हुए अपने उद्योग समूह को प्रमुख स्थान पर बनाए रखना और इसके साथ साथ अपने ट्रस्ट के माध्यम से देश की When we talk about uh, Tata Trust, of course, uh, there, uh, you know, he, the kind of contribution uh, is unmatched and unparalleled when it comes uh, 
to uh, the legend uh, Ratan Tata, who's died at the age of 86. Uh, he has, in fact, contributed from his own money. He invested in many companies. Uh, he invested in uh, multi uh, companies with his own wealth. He had invested in Snapdeal. He'd invested in Ola Cabs, also uh, in uh, Xiaomi and others. Uh, let's just go back to Radhika, who's joining us from NCP, NCPA uh, uh, lawns, where uh, the mortal remains of Ratan Tata, uh, uh, you know, the body has been kept there before the final ride, so which is going to take place in Worli. Radhika, take us through, you know, at what time can we expect uh, the funeral to take place of Ratan Tata? That's right. Last journey of Ratan Tata has begun. People are paying tributes and homage at NCPA, where the public viewing is happening from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. is when uh, this uh, uh, will continue till uh, we saw uh, public at large. Uh, we're still continuing to see public at large paying tributes to Ratan Tata. Uh, you know, as uh, uh, besides that, of course, we also saw. Uh, leaders such as Sharad Pawar as well as uh, Supriya Sule also making their way into this particular place. As Jin Tendulkar was somebody who paid our tributes to Ratan Tata early this morning. So these are the visuals that we are showing you from NCPA where the public viewing is happening. Public at large are paying their tributes uh, as uh, Ratan Tata is uh, in his final journey. After which uh, now at about 4 p.m. is when he will be taken to his mortal remains will be taken to Worli uh, crematorium where the last rites will happen as per uh, a Parsi tradition so that is something that will happen post four o'clock but at the moment as you can see people queuing up to catch a last glimpse of uh, the visionary of the industrialist Ratan Tata uh, he died at the age of 86 as a result of uh, uh, you know age related ailments he was hospitalized for the last several days uh, in uh, uh, Breach Candy Hospital. He was in the ICU, but when he was hospitalized a few days back, he did put out a, 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 a message on social media. He did put out a message on... All right, so we also have RBI Governor Shaktikan Das as well, uh, uh, you know, at uh, the uh, spot, uh, uh, paying his last rites to Ratan Tata. RBI Governor uh, at uh, NCPA R2, pay last respects to Ratan Tata. Earlier, of course, Sharad Pawar was seen, Sachin Tendulkar was also seen at the residence yesterday, Chief Minister, Deputy CM. Now, RBI Governor is at NCPA. In the next few hours, we will uh, get to see more people from within industries, uh, within the political circle, within entertainment as well as sports circle, who will be paying their last homage to Ratan Tata. Uh, he died at the age of 86, as I was mentioning, due to, uh, you know, age-related ailments and as I was mentioning when he was hospitalized initially he put out a message he put out a statement uh, asking people to not speculate and it was just a regular medical checkup however he was in the ICU uh, and he passed away yesterday and an official by Tata group uh, informing people of uh, his uh, passing away of course you know uh, you know one can talk about his contributions the man he was the accomplishments of his but it is hard to describe that in a few minutes of course it's decade uh, you know several decades of accomplishment achievements uh, and his contribution to indian industry is concerned uh, which is difficult to really explain or describe uh, in a few minutes uh, however he's known not just as somebody who did much for the industry but also known as somebody who was uh, doing much for the society gave back to the society believed in giving back to the society believed in contributed contributing to the larger good of the welfare of the people so therefore he's known as a human being uh, uh, extraordinary human being uh, who did much for the welfare of the people unlike many industrialists this is what several people say which is why he's most liked he's most respected and he's most admired uh, by people at large and somebody who also uh, was a mentor for people as you were mentioning he did invest in multiple startups after he uh, quit the post of chairmanship after he stepped down as the chairman he was busy uh, you know mentoring uh, entrepreneurs uh, mentoring those who wanted to start businesses and also invested in uh, multiple uh, startups across uh, uh, years so those are his other accomplishments eh? and and very recently uh, the animal hospital uh, the small animal hospital that he set up that is his 
uh, you know, recent accomplishment or rather, uh, you know, this that is something he created. That was his passion pet project uh, for Ratan Tata as a result of his love and passion for, uh, you know, canines and uh, animals, uh, you know, and there are a lot of anecdotes as far as, you know, his love for animals are concerned and of course his interactions with youth are concerned. Uh, people call him as a very humble, generous person, also very witty, but quiet. Uh, and his demeanor is quiet, his demeanor is shy. He always believed in contributing to the society. Often in his interviews also he spoke about how, uh, you know, it is just not about industrial expansion or accomplishments, but it's also about how one can contribute to the larger good of the society, which is why significant, uh, you know, a portion of the wealth of Tata's go to charity. 65% of his shares go uh, uh, to these charitable causes, be it education, healthcare, or, uh, you know, rural development. So yes, you know, one can go on and on about the uh, you know, person, the visionary Ratan Tata was, but this is his final journey that we are showing you. Thousands of people gathered here to pay their last rites and funeral to take place at about 4 p.m.